Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in our amazing world. And welcome to another episode on the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, and we're on the Inspired Choices Network. And for this last month, the month of December, I decided that I was going to do what we call the empaths holiday haven because for many of people like myself who are empaths intuitives and highly sensitive people this could be a really challenging time of the year for us because we're just uber sensitive to everything and for us it's like learning new skills for self-care and maybe learning some different ways to to uh, celebrate the holidays and make it on your terms and Today, we're going to be finish, uh, finishing up the fourth segment of our series, um, and it's called Embracing Inner Peace. And it's the most perfect time of the year, I felt, to do this because we're in a lull right now between that week after Christmas and New Year's or after the, a lot of the holiday bliss. And it's like downtime as we're getting into the new year and... Um, kind of a time to spend some downtime with ourselves to do some reflection. So let me just share some things that are part of our today's show. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I could better see this. So here we go. <laughs> In a world filled with chaos and noise, finding solace can be like an impossible quest. Can anybody relate to that? But this holiday season, we invite you to join us Today, on the Dr. Dolores Show, as we conclude our four-part series on the Empaths Holiday Haven, today we're going to talk, be talking about embracing inner peace, and our show will be helping you discover the power of inner peace and how to project it outwards, touching the hearts of those around you. In this past faith, and I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> In this fast-paced, stress-filled holiday rush, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind. I kind of, sometimes it's like being in a washing machine on the spin cycle, for me at least. However, today we're going to provide some tranquility and some, te some techniques to not only center you, but also to radiate the serenity to others, not just during the holidays, but all year round. And, you know, what we shared in the last four weeks is definitely about a foundational piece for where you can go moving forward. If you start, I invite you to start embracing some of these things and make them part of your regular routine, because when you do that, you're starting to set a foundational piece for yourself. And believe it or not, what happens is that just by continuously do that, sometimes the subtlety of it shifts into, oh my gosh, I've got this. So just be aware of those little aha moments. Embracing inner peace is your guide to fostering mindfulness, embracing gratitude, and using your empathic abilities to create a more harmony, harmonious world. And guess what? When we start with ourselves, it just ripples out into the universe. And I truly believe this is how we can change the world, maybe create some more peace on earth. We could use some of that right now, don't you think? So, you know, when we talk about inner peace, it's just like, some people are like, well, you know, is that just silence? Is it, is it a quality? Is it something you feel deep within yourself? Um, some people describe an inner peace as a state of mental and emotional calmness with no anxiety or stress. 
It's a sense of tranquility and harmony that comes from being at peace with oneself and the world around it. And I think the most important thing to remember is that being at peace with oneself. Because if we back up a little bit and just realize that everything starts with us, if we have inner turmoil, turmoil and and you know unrest within our lives, guess what we're going to be witnessing outside of our physical body? We're going to be seeing those things that are aligned with what we are on the inside. Too often we think that it's on something on the outside that's creating that for us. But I'm going to invite you to flip the switch on that and Look at it from this perspective. Where in your life are you really feeling stressed out, really anxious, really um, feeling um, out of sorts? And just reflect on that. I think you'll find some great pieces of information there as to possibly why you are seeing what you're seeing or what is on the outside is triggering you because sometimes we're not aware that what we're witnessing on the outside is actually something that is deep within ourselves and it's an opportunity to possibly i call it go on an archaeological dig within yourself to uncover those places where we've kind of gone unconscious or they're, they've been hidden, and maybe it's time to shine a big beam of light on those areas so we could bring them from not being seen to being seen, from unconsciousness to consciousness, so we could move forward, heal that up, and start on our journey and watch our world change around us as we clean that up. And I know for a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people who are skeptics about this and don't believe that. They create their reality. And in all essence, we do create our reality. And the interesting thing right now that what's happening is time is really accelerated and is sped up. Now, I know in other episodes, I've shared a little bit about this, but time is a very Earth-like concept. No other place in the universe other than on planet Earth is, is time a concept. And what you may have noticed that time seems to be speeding up. I know for me, it's just like, oh my gosh, I feel like we have 14 hour days instead of 24 hour days. This is not because I'm getting older. <laughs> this is because this is actually what's happening. When linear time, as we know it, past, present, and future, linear, has flipped its axis, past, present, and future, the poles have shifted basically. And what has happened is that things are happening at the same time. Past, present, and future are kind of stacked up on each other and they're happening simultaneously, not only in this lifetime, but it's also happening in previous lifetimes and future lifetimes. So we're actually in very quantum quantum um, times right now. So it's about being really clear about what you're thinking, what you're desiring, what you are energetically putting out because thoughts, your beliefs, what you say, what you say to yourself, what you say to others are really intentions and manifestations that are happening rather quickly. And it's not you know, taking a lifetime for that to happen, it's happening almost like this in a nanosecond. Before the thought process is complete, it's creating. So I invite people to just take a step back and reflect on how they are, where their stress level is, where their anxiety level is within themselves, because there's a direct correlation between that and what you're probably seeing on your outside world. So how does one get to that? You know, it, it's just like, okay, so we know this. People are gonna say, well, Dr. Dolores, we know this. Well, what are the, some of the things that we can learn to shift that? Well, I'm just gonna give you some basics because I think 
there's so many of them. And I just invite people to experiment with them just to see what's right for you and what feels like it's in alignment with you. Of course, we're big on mindfulness, mindfulness and meditation. And like I have said before, being mindful is just being totally aware, being fully present in your body. So how does one go about getting fully present in your body? Doing anything you can to ground yourself. Go out in nature, be, um, do, you know, any type of puzzles, coloring, any type of arts or crafts, any creative venture will help you get grounded into your body. It is unique to every individual what's going to be aligned with them. So it's not a one shop stop. One, you know, one thing is going to fit everybody. That's why we have so many wonderful things to choose from. So we have free will and choice as to what's aligned to us that's going to bring us to the our next step to our inner wisdom and connecting with that and being totally at peace and that inner serenity that many of us crave. Acceptance. I think a lot of times people have a tendency to be in resistance to what's happening. Um, anybody out there, you know, like got their heels dug in and don't want to change or whatever. Yeah, I could relate to that. You know, we've been labeled stubborn, you know, um, what's the other word for it? Defiant, <laughs> disobedient or whatever that is. But there is a fine line between and it's like a continuum of being um, resistant and being, you know, somebody who is just totally open and naive. Okay. So it's in how I, I feel it, it comes to the middle is just acceptance. Sometimes there's things in life that are happening that sometimes we wonder why. And especially those of us who don't like change and just want everything packaged up in a nice little box on the shelf and so we could reach up and get it when it's time to deal with it. No, we are energetic beings. As energetic beings, we're continuously evolving and growing and we're changing our frequency. So when you think about it, if you are here and there's something in your life that is falling away, okay, instead of hanging on to it for dear life, because you're here, it's here, your energy is a different energy than what this was probably when it was created. Notice, they're no longer a match. So why would you want to hang on to something that's no longer energetically aligned to you? So when you come to acceptance and realize, okay, Maybe this is what's happening and it's falling away because there's got to be a void for something else to be placed in there where you could create it from love, appreciation, and respect for an instance instead of out of fear, lack, and, um, you know, fear and lack. <laughs> so what I'm saying is acceptance is huge when we come to acceptance we come to a neutral a neutral place in our lives where it's like it doesn't have a charge it's like you're not hanging on and being in resistance to pos the possible changes that come with that and you're embracing the possibilities of what an amazing future can create so when we you know accept what's going on Gratitude is another thing that helps us shift and move forward, being grateful and appreciative for that opportunity, that that thing that is no longer going to be with us gave us so that we could kind of make our peace with it and allow it to go to where it needs to go next and allow us to move forward as to where we need to go. So 
we're, I can't believe we're ready for a break already, but um, you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about the empath's holiday haven and embracing inner peace. And we're talking about some of the things of how we could get to inner peace. So when we turn from our break, we'll just carry on and, and uh, talk some more about this wonderful topic. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazino nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, your host. And we've been talking about embracing inner peace as the fourth part of our four-part series on the Empath's Holiday Haven. And, you know, before the break, we were talking about some of the things uh, that people can do to create more inner peace for themselves. Cause the big question is, is like, yeah, I know I need inner peace, but how do I get to that? So we talked about doing anything mindful acceptance and how acceptance is so important to coming to neutrality, but also allowing us a space to move forward and being grateful and appreciative for um, those situations that we've had to learn how to accept or embrace acceptance so that we could actually create a space for more amazing things that are aligned energetically with who you are and where you're going in the future. You know, another thing that comes around this time of the year, you know, that that week between the 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 two major holidays, you know, Christmas and uh, for those who celebrate that in New Year's, is uh, a time where everything kind of gets rebooted. We're in rest state. And it's a great time to reflect and to possibly simplify your life. We're actually going through Mercury retrograde right now. So this is the perfect time to um, look at anything that has RE in front of it, like rest, relax, redo, regroup, um, about clearing out clutter, which, you know, many of us have a lot of baggage, you know, in our world, physically, along with mentally. And it's a great way to go through and like purge your cabinets and clean out the space and do a space clearing, because this is going to, you know, help you um, shift your energy because it's creating a symbolic formation of, of uh, moving energy on the physical, but it's going to assist you to move that not so physical demonstration of energy, like your thoughts, your beliefs, your trapped emotions, maybe your trapped thoughts and beliefs, and even your connectedness with yourself. Sometimes when there's too much 
um, stuff in your house and it's old and it carries a lot of memories, it just traps a lot of energy. So this is a very freeing and liberating thing. It's very feng shui, if you want to call it, to do a decluttering and stuff like that. And also, um, you know, clearing your house, doing it with sage, you know, Palo Santo, or even the good old Epsom salt and fire as well. And those are excellent ways to shift energy that's going to allow and create more inner peace in your environment. So, um, you know, and of course, there's other things as well. It's about looking at the things that are um, really important with us. And it's maybe about setting some boundaries and maybe changing your lifestyle. If you've been um, having a endless love affair with carbs or sugar, maybe it's a time to uh, modify that and, and uh, create healthier patterns for yourself or just become more active. Yes, Everybody talks about New Year's resolutions and, you know, everybody's gung-ho about that. What I'm inviting you to do is create something that you're going to be able to carry through beyond the third week in January. It's like, you know, it's January is like everybody's gung-ho and it's just like by the third week of January, the steam runs out and everybody's just like, well, you know, that didn't work and stuff like that. Not necessarily so. Sometimes shifts occur quickly and sometimes it's a process so i invite you not to give up hope and to continue to dream big because dreaming big creates possibilities it brings us into a higher vibrating state it also sets intentions so this is all good stuff um the other thing that i think is really important and i want to address about is why inner peace is really important for people who are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people. Actually, inner peace is important for everybody, but emotional well being, um, since those of us who are wired differently, like myself, empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people, we experience such intensity in our emotions. Um, and of course we're affected sometimes by our environment and people who are around our environment, you know, in our environment. Our inner peace acts as a buffer, helping us to stabilize other people's emotional states and prevent overwhelm. So what it's really doing, it's creating a bubble within ourselves to allow us to have more nebulous boundaries <laughs> so we could tangibly feel that and feel like, you know, energetically things will stop at a boundary around us and we're not being influenced by anything outside of ourselves. When we're able to do that, what happens to us individually, it allows our energy to raise in vibration and frequency. It also allows us to be more physically present for people because we don't have these cords and these, um, I call them siphons, you know, like when you siphon gas out of your gas tank, it's like these siphons hooked up from your, your energy field, sucking life out of you to going to everybody else. It's like a, it's like an energetic vi vampirism type of thing, but it's definitely an important thing when you get the visual and you could see it because that's actually what's happening. So when you see that visual, now we could create something different where there, the ability for other people to put their hoses in to siphon off your energy is makes it less and less. So emotional well-being is definitely, you know, number one. And like I said, boundary setting and that's setting a boundary. And, you know, when we set boundaries, we gain a lot more of our power back. And so we're able to have more clarity in our space. And when we have more clarity, this is where we're able to tap into our intu intuition. And when we tap into our intuition, 
we're gaining wisdom from our, our higher self and our higher self is an aspect. We're just an aspect of the, our higher self. Just an aspect of us is in this physical container. And I'm going to label mine as Dolores and you could label yours as your name, but you know, just a fraction of my higher self is in my physical body right now. My higher self has many, many aspects um, and there's a possibility that maybe I'm living in another place and time in another dimension with, you know, connected to my higher self as, as well. That's for another conversation. But um, when we are tapped into our intuition, we are gaining wisdom and insight and we have the clarity because we have set our boundaries and we're in our body. Okay. So nothing's interfering with us. So we have a clearer channel. This overall has a tendency to re, uh, reduce our our stress, okay? Because when, you know, without knowing this, if you were the type of person that went into an environment and you felt really, you know, all of a sudden you're like really edgy and, and anxious and it's like you can't really describe what's going on, but you just feel really uncomfortable in your skin or in that environment, this could be because you're picking on other up on other people's stress. So when you're able to um, create a bubble around you, this kind of dissipates that and assists that stress to stop at your door at your doorway there and not allow it to go through the doorway into you. Um, Stress, on the other hand, too, a lot of times if we've created a lot of stress for ourselves, may, like maybe um, we have some unresolved things in our lives that are kind of unconsciously feeding us, sometimes that could be, you know, well, it could be when there's episodes of not feeling your emotions clearly and fully. It could be because maybe you're not experiencing um, situations like you wish they had, or maybe you're holding a lot of regret and self-doubt, though that, that contributes to stress. So how can you assist yourself to move through that? Continue working on mindful activity and doing what you can to get grounded in your body. It's really, really that simple and doing what you can for self-care. Self-care is huge, folks. And in the times that we're going through right now, self-care is about learning how to trust yourself, learning how to um, not only trust yourself, but love yourself. And know that no matter what is happening in your world, you're going to be okay. I feel sometimes we just get off center, we get unbalanced, and we start going down the rabbit hole of fear, worry, anxiety. And I invite you to realize when this is happening and take a deep breath and stop yourself, okay? A lot of times we feel like we are, we are in control and we're in control of everything. There is a truth to that, but there's also the truth in, in, in that we have free will and choice. So it's a choice to feel like you're being stressed out. It's a choice to flip the switch to think about something different. It's a choice to live in love abundance and appreciation. It's also a choice to live in fear, lack, and gloom and doom. It's a choice. So I invite you just to ponder that while we go on our next break. And you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And when we return, we'll talk more about this and do a process to assist you to move out from the doom, gloom, and fear. Stay tuned. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. 
Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. And we are on the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And for the last um, couple of segments of this particular show, we're talking about embracing inner peace. And this is the fourth segment in a series that I did for the holidays called The Empath's Holiday Haven. So before break, we were talking about um, inner peace and how energetically self-care is so important. And, um, you know, it kind of circles back to creating some boundaries. And, you know, I think what I'd like to do to assist our audience is to give you some exercises. I know that's probably pretty a good thing to do. I like to keep them simple, but they're very simple and effective to create some energy shielding, okay? They're like visualizations and what they do is they protect your energy field. So it's almost like creating a boundary that's around us. So anything that's not ours um, does not unconsciously permeate our boundary and come into our our space with, you know, their little siphon holes and suck the life out of us. So with that in mind, I just invite you to just get in a comfortable position. And if you're driving, um, I invite you not to do this while you're driving. Um, it's probably not a good idea. And I don't want you to close your eyes. But when you stop, you go, just hook into this uh, segment and we'll, you'll be able to gain the access to that. So right now, I just invite you to sit or stand comfortably with your eyes closed. And just take a couple of deep breaths, take a deep breath in and slowly blow it out. And take one more deep breath in and slowly blow it out. And lastly, take one more deep breath in, just hold it for a moment and slowly blow it out. Just allow your breathing to return to its normal inhale and exhale patterning. And right now with your eyes closed, just visualize a bright protective light surrounding your body and forming a bubble and allow that bubble to expand to about probably three feet around your whole body, above your head, below your feet, circumferentially around your body. And I invite you to allow this light to shift to a pink color, a light pink. Light pink or pink is the color of unconditional love and acceptance. And you are formulating 
this in your bubble and the periphery is this pink as well. See this pink light as a barrier that allows positive energy to flow in, but blocks out negativity. Take a moment to feel the warmth and strength of this protective bubble. And know that whenever you think of the pink bubble, you will automatically go to this space. And when you're ready, I just invite you to come back to this room and place and open your eyes. What you may notice is that as you experience that, did you feel your energy shift? Are you feeling more calm and peaceful than what you were a moment before? Do you feel like you're in the present moment in your body, grounded? These are all things that are possible with this. So I just invite you to incorporate this simple exercise into your daily routine. Maybe when you first get up in the morning and maybe before you go to bed at night or at any time you're feeling like you're starting to get uber stressed out about something. Pull yourself out and just surround yourself with that beautiful pink bubble of light. I believe it'll change and shift your world. Another thing that I think is kind of important too, and I'm gonna to give you another tool and technique. A lot of times people say, oh, you should just put yourself in a mirror ball or have mirrors around your exterior. That's a good exercise as well. And I'm just going to walk you through that too, because I feel when you have a couple of options, it's always good to have choices. Whatever you're more aligned with or leaning into, I invite you to embrace that or find something of your own that's going to be aligned with you. So right now, go back to closing your eyes and just being fully present in the moment, okay? Just take some deep breaths. Take another deep breath and take one more deep breath. Hold it a little bit and just allow it yourself to exhale. Now, imagine a reflective mirror surrounding you facing outward about three feet around your whole periphery of your physical body, above your head three feet, below your feet three feet. Envision negative energy bouncing off the mirror, unable to penetrate it. See the mirror reflecting the negativity back to its source with love and light. Feel the sense of protection and clarity as the mirror shields, the mirror is gonna shield and repel negativity. And always send it back with love and light. It's gentler and it's actually being a compassionate being when you do that. And when you're ready, just come back to this place in time and open your eyes. And just be. Sometimes there's no words necessary it's just the sensation of that inner peace, the inner peace. When you're at inner peace and you're experiencing inner peace, you are in the present moment. 
no matter what is happening around you or in the world or in your house can influence you or throw you off your, I'm gonna say your bounty of inner peace. Inner peace, I believe is our sovereign right. And we can claim that. It's about allowing ourselves to receive that and have that. It's about knowing that you're worthy enough to have it. And that when we are experiencing inner peace, This is where we get to witness the subtleties and the miracles that are all around us. It's as if our instincts, our senses are heightened and not in a stressful, anxiety, provocative type of way. It's about being aware. It's about being right here, right now, but also expanded enough where you could be in multiple places at the same time, even within your house. <laughs> it's about non-attachment. It's about acceptance. And it's about being in deep gratitude and appreciation. When we experience inner peace, it's as if nothing else matters. You're not getting swayed or pulled unless you choose to. It's about being fully awake and present. And planted in your physical body. It's really that simple. When you're at inner peace, all the noise of chaos is dialed down to almost zero. Your mind and your ego has befriended your body and your soul. It's as if you're in a collaborative effort with your body, mind, and soul. And everything is orchestrated in such a divine timing with its simplicity yet ability to accomplish way more than you ever thought was physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually possible. When you come to this stillness and this still point, you are here right now in the present moment and you experience true peace 
to harmony and balance. So I'm just going to leave you with this as you're in this moment. And just relish this as we go to our next break. You've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, your host. And when we come back, we'll just recap about inner peace. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. I know the last segment, we experienced two exercises that are going to allow you to set boundaries a little easier and to take your power back. And you got to experience what inner peace is like and what is truly your birthright and your right and your sovereign right as a human being here in your human body here on earth. So just to recap, so important to do things like this because believe it or not, this is self-care. This is about allowing yourself and loving yourself enough to set boundaries, to quiet and dial down the external noise to almost zero and come within yourself to feel what's truly aligned with who you are. Um, we are almost at New Year's, so I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's. And I invite a lot of you to consider doing this for your New Year's resolutions. I don't, I don't even like to call them resolutions. What you want to accomplish for the next year. Do like a little visioning board with yourself. There's some, some downtime this week. But I know I decided that I was going to choose a word for the year, which my word for this year is going to be trust. It's going to be the theme for the whole year because so many times we just have a tough time, not just only trusting life, but even trusting ourselves. So what a great way to move forward in the year. So I invite you to choose a word for the year and have that be the underlying focus for the whole year. So for 2024, my trust, I'm going to be working on the word trust and the vibration of the word trust. So the other part of this is just, remember, words have vibrations, okay, and frequencies. The word trust, for me, I'm just going to tap into the vibration of that word and just allow it to unfold the way it needs to. So whatever word that you choose for the new year, just tap into the energy of it, feel what it feels like to have that particular word and the vibration of it and, and have that be the underlying current of what's going to pull you through the next year as with your experiences, something fun to do. So next week, we are going to be talking about building resilience and finding calm in the chaos. And we, this today has been a segue into this next episode for us next week. And let me just share a little bit about what to expect. It says in today's fast paced world, it often seems like we're caught in a never ending whirlwind of chaos and stress. The desire for inner peace and resilience is the face of life's challenges and is something we all share. Isn't that the truth? 
Welcome to an insightful episode of the Dr. Laura Show, where we embark on a journey to explore the secrets of building resilience, staying grounded, serene, and strong, even when life throws us the most chaotic curveballs. And let me tell you, there's been a lot of those going on as of late. So um, we are going to talk about... Um, you know, resilience and, you know, that it's not about avoiding chaos, but rather in mastering the art of navigating through it. Um, and it's not about ignoring it or putting off the side. It's moving through it with a lot of grace and ease. So we're going to learn some practical strategies and mindfulness techniques that can be applied in real life situations. And, um, you know, I think this could be a really great episode for a lot of people, especially segueing on today's episode when we were talking about, um, you know, inner peace and coming to that serenity that many of us just totally desire in our lives. And, you know, as we segue through and move through the end of our year, there's a lot to be thankful, grateful, and appreciative of even though sometimes what we're witnessing seems counter to that. There is much to honor. There is much to appreciate. We're seeing a lot of hidden things that have come to light, or maybe it's unconscious patterns coming into consciousness. The big, you know, Humanity is evolving and uh, ascending, which is just delicious and yummy, especially those of us who have all chosen to be here at this time to witness this amazing event of humanity's um, evolution. And what we're witnessing is the unraveling of patterns that were based on fear, lack, and greed, possibly, and abuse of power. Whereas what we're experiencing now is the ability to create something out of love, peace, and abundance. This is where our choice comes in. We're actually jumping timelines. So embrace the changes that are happening. It's a celebration that we're removing deconstructing the ways that are no longer aligned because they're based on fear, greed, and abuse of power to where we're going in the future with love, abundance, and prosperity for everybody. When you jump the timeline and make that shift, endless possibilities are gonna happen for you. Yes, there's uncertainty involved. And yes, you're gonna have to trust, but you know what? I believe it'll be so worth it. When you're able to do the work that you need to do individually, just remember when we do this work and we heal things, things ripple out into collective consciousness. We are a drop in this big cosmic sea of water. When we make a shift and change, it drops in, it ripples out, and it has great capability to affect change and create new things, creating out of love, peace, and abundance. So I wish you all the happiest of New Year's and may 2024 be filled with love, abundance, prosperity, peace, and everything else that you so desire. Remember, you are worth it. Put yourself first, take care of yourself, and you will have what you need as you move forward to the most amazing 2024 that you're going to ever have in your life. <laughs> Take care. I love you and see you next week. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. Dr. Dolores returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.